Hello and hello to all of my Leos. And this this message is for their full moon, full buck moon. Let's get right into it. You're going to feel the effects of the both of the signs, Sagittarius and Capricorn for this full moon, right? Uh, it'll move through Sagittarius and it'll also move through uh, Capricorn. So let's get right into it. Let's see what that means for you specifically. Let's see what's in your cards, Leos. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your chart. Just the, since the portal is open, this is an opportunity for uh, growth in every area of your life. If you want to grow your money, then do that. But you're going to have to part ways with something else, some kind of other emotion about something else if you want to grow your money. Like somebody's going to have to get laser focused. You want to grow your money. You want to grow your faith. You want to grow your love life. Whatever it is you want to grow, here's an opportunity. That window is wide open. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the Queen of Swords. We also have the Knight of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands, Death card, Two of Cups, and also the World card. Like I said, something has to end. Death card and the World card. Something has to end. Somebody has to get real serious. This is a this is attached to Saturn. Saturn is a really serious, pretty serious planet. Saturn is the planet of um, formality, the planet of concentration, structure and order, limits, discipline, patience, rules, dignity, hard work. Like Source is saying, you're at a higher frequency now. The expectation should be much different. So if you want to grow your money, you want to grow opportunities coming your way, you want to grow your confidence, your ethics, your moral, your adventures, it's time for somebody to recognize I'm on a different frequency now. So it's time to sit down and envision the life that you know that you deserve. It's, there's nothing else to it. Nothing else to it. Okay, we also have the Queen of Swords and also the Knight of Swords. You're going to have to get away from any negative thoughts about anything. Cut it. Just go ahead and cut the negative thinking out. Whatever I left, what I was because I was operating in the flesh, I need to, I need to uh, exchange that with some positive thinking. I need to speak some things into existence of what I want. There's plenty of tools online. Let's say you want to grow your money. There's videos on YouTube for free where you can listen to throughout the day how to attract money, how to attract this, whatever it is you want to attract. Somebody's going to have to get real serious about it, but you, it has to be exchanging of something. I need to leave something that caused me to operate in the flesh behind, something that caused me to be burned out, upset, frustrated, whatever it is. When I think about certain people, places, and things, if it's causing me that much frustration, I need to release it because that's what's blocking somebody's money. Here we have two of cups. I'm looking at soulmate energy in your life, so... If you want to attract your soul, your soulmate or whoever, whatever you want to attract, this is your opportunity to do that. This is opportunity. To, so the negativity has to go. Any kind of negative thoughts in your mind about something, write it down, attach it to something, a, a person, place or thing or people, places and things and use your fire, your fire sign. Time to burn it. We also have the Nine of Swords. We also have the Five of Pentacles. Somebody has to do some shadow work. We also have the Lover's card. We also have the Hierophant card, King of Pentacles, and also the Tower card. So there could be a Taurus somewhere in the picture that's having a Tower moment. You know, somebody could be having a Tower moment. Things are not working out that well for somebody. Um, and so Source is saying to you, it's time to do some shadow work. Who is connected to you that's connected to somebody else that's staying connected to you for what, for what they can get from you? They can be a Taurus, or they can be on the cusp of Taurus, like an Aries. Um, somebody is staying connected to you, Leo, so so they can get what they can whatever they can get from you. Um, and you know, God will keep you walking past your vault until you release them. God will keep you. Somebody got to get real serious about this. Like somebody, something has just been a nightmare for somebody. And if your pride won't let something go, it's time to let the pride go about the situation and go. You know, I don't care what I've told people. I don't care what I've said to people about whatever it is. I need to release this because I need to get real serious about it. Because you don't want to keep repeating cycles because, you know, like I said before, something is going on and that's blocking you from this. King of Pentacles, the wealthiest card in the deck wealthiest card in the deck and this is financial wealth this is paper and coins wealth excellent credit score wealth respect wealth all of that wealthy in every area of your life so here we have the lover's card and um so source is saying to you some kind of business some kind of business partnership is trying to come in but also twin flame love is trying to come across your path right 
Um, one of the things that's coming up for me is somebody, okay, let me see how I can arrange this because it, it's, it's like I said, it, it, it's, it's coming to me about somebody's family. Somebody could either have been dating somebody or thinking about marrying somebody who they're thinking that it's like somebody's mother has been trying to warn somebody like that's you, you, you may have thought somebody didn't like you, but somebody is like, come on now, Leo, stay in your light. You'll see it. Like it's like somebody's waiting for somebody to say, don't marry such and such because this is what you're going to get. The messages don't always come that way because people are not trying to act like they're your God. We don't have dominion over other human beings. And somebody's pride is not letting them see that. Like somebody could be saying to you, don't apply for that position and so in every way they could possibly tell you. But if you all you can see is I got to have that position and you get into that position and all of a sudden it's not what you thought. And you're like, well, why didn't anybody tell me X one? every sign under the sun. So now that the moon is, we're getting closer and closer to full illumination on the moon. This is where you say, God, if there is anything or anybody in my life right now that's having me, that's staying connected to me for what they can get from me, give me an exodus strategy. Please let them cut me off or give me the strength to cut them off. Doesn't matter who it is because there's too many signs around somebody and somebody's just going through a nightmare. And you don't have to be there. And you're assuming it's like when you're going through this kind of stuff, you don't know who to trust. But source has positioned certain people around you not to say anything, like just to come out and say, like, you need to run. Like, get as far away from that as possible because they would be, they would be disobedient outside God's will. God wants you to figure it out. So that's why I said in my last video, Leo, stay in your light so that you can see everything around you. If you if it's meant to leave something, a person, place, a thing, source is trying to tell you, I'm, I got I got your ancestors around you helping you to deal with your shadow self. So you can get to this wealth. But somebody is connected to you for what they can get from you. And it, it can it can it can that's the it can look like stability, it can look like security, it can look like and they and they use anything, they use anything, right? And so it, it's when I look at this right here, I, I, I'm to be direct. Somebody doesn't see their worth because God is trying to make you very wealthy. Somebody does not see their worth, and if somebody can just give you compliments and tell you, oh well, you know, um, wh whatever they're saying, I'm not even gonna plant that seed. But whatever people are saying, and you're thinking, oh, it's us against the world, or it's. You know, everybody's jealous of me. I'm trying to tell you, God is positioning people around you to, to show you certain things. So pay attention. Just pay attention. See, sometimes people assume that people's families don't like them. But what they're trying to tell you is sometimes, just sometimes, right? Because this is what's coming to me. Sometimes people's family really don't like you. But sometimes it is they're telling you, they're showing you in their face the brokenness, and this is what you'd be. This is what you'd be entering into. And so, remember, we don't have dominion over other human beings. Those energies have dominion over their own universe, and they don't have dominion over yours. So you can think, well, I'm coming into their lives, and I'm bringing a, I'm a bright light in people's lives, and I'm inspiring people. Trust me, you're not the only Leo that has come across their path, Leo. So. Somebody's going to step back and really look at some things through a different lens at a higher frequency. Like I said before, something is over and something is having a, um, something is having a, um, somebody's having an awakening. Somebody's having an awakening. Here we have the temperance card, the hermit card, the four of cups, the knight of wands, the seven of coins, and also the five of wands. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. We also have the uh, four cups. Oh, I saw, I saw the hermit card. Yeah, the hermit card. Um, and then we have the, the, the knight of cups. We have the temperance card. Somebody has definitely has a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you. Somebody who died is watching over you. They're saying to you, 
they're saying to you, it's going to be okay. You're having an awakening. And so this is not the time to crack and crumble. This is the time to be in receiving mode. You all are senders of energy by default. So now it's time to be in receiving mode of messages that's coming from God. So you don't feel like, okay, I can't trust this person to give me advice. I don't really know them like that. I can't really trust what they're saying. How do I know I can trust them? How can I, how do I know it's not a setup? That's why you go directly to God because there's too many signs around somebody and it, they're not paying attention to it. And this is a general reading. So I could tell you that somebody, um, there is a, um, there could be a Leo woman who is considering, um, uh, who's seriously thinking about wanting to be a part of somebody's family. And you assume that people don't like you when really God is saying run, cause I can already see more on you than what you can see in yourself. And you don't see where as much as they love their family member, they already know that there's another side of the family that for you, it, it's, it would be a disaster, I'm telling you. So, or like I said, I mean, so many different downloads are coming through, but somebody is like this. They don't want to listen. Somebody, that's that fixed energy. All fixed signs, that's your sign, Aquarius, that's Scorpio, Taurus. Sometimes it's just that fixed energy until you have a tower moment. It has to come from God at this point because somebody is still kind of like, well, it's not that bad. You can't even... You can't, this is, again, you're divinely protected. So again, but when you're away from a situation, then it's going to make sense to somebody. Then it's going to say, okay, who I dodged that. That was all I, I'm like, wow, God, thank you. Then it's going to start making sense to somebody, but please don't let your pride get you into a situation where you feel like, okay, I don't want to feel like I'm being a mean spirited person. I don't want to feel like I need to cut people off or I cut or just like, uh, I don't want to feel like, you know, feel some kind of way. Source is saying to you, if you are going against sources instruction, like God is telling people, don't say anything directly to Leo because I got to get this message to the Leo. They got to be in receiving mode. They got to put themselves, position themselves in, in you know, because something is irritating. Everybody has demons, by the way, but something is irritating your demons and causing you to get frustrated. And here we have the Knight of Cups. Only person that can save you from this is you, but somebody is ruminating over something. And so Source is saying, during this um, during this full moon, some of the rituals that people do is charges, gemstones, and crystals. You see these here. Charges, gemstones, and crystals. Um, some people um, harvest herbs. Some people... Um, um, uh, uh, make moon water to drink. Uh, some people uh, charge their tools. Some sometimes people make protective amulets. Whatever it is your ritual is and whatever you're trying to make room for, please, 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 Leo, go straight to God within and say to God, please expose everything in me and around me that's staying close to me for what they can get from me, whether it's my career success, my prosperity, my um, stability, my security, my um, patience, my loyalty, my um, tenacity, like expose it. Please expose it and give me an exodus strategy out of it because it's harvest time for you all. And this portal being open right now where you can pretty much ask God for anything, you're going to feel like you hit, like you just lucky. It's not luck. The portal is open. And, you know, like I said, you're feeling the effects of the moon in Sagittarius and in, in Capricorn. You'll be feeling, well, full moon, you'll be feeling the effects of both signs as the moon starts to wane, right? And move from one sign to the next. So on one hand, you feel really lucky, but God is also saying you got to get real serious about closing out cycles too. So there needs to be a grand closing on one side and a grand opening to the lights, the bright side of the moon. So get serious, get really serious. Let's see what else we got going on here. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? All right, okay. Let's see what else we got going on. Let's see what else we have going on here, Leo's. Here we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Star card, the Ace of Cups, and also the Wheel of the Year. The Wheel of the Year. 
the star card and also the wheel of the year. So source is going to give you back your time. Any time that you may have felt like you wasted um, in, a, in any situations, God is going to give you that time back. But really, God is trying to get everybody to tune in to self and to listen, pay attention, put pride and arrogance to the side. Anything that's going to cause you like feel like I've invested so much time in this and I feel like I wasted my time or I feel like somebody played me or people could have told me, get all of that out of your universe, all of it. So it needs to t you to, t you know, to really tune in to hear some, like I said, um, nightmare, nightmare situation, nightmare situation. Somebody could be taking on something that you don't even have to take on. Something that you, you could go into a situation feeling like, oh, I want to marry somebody whose parents are divorced or their parents are just a hot mess. Or I found out this about their mom and found out this about their dad. And that's why they are the way that they do. Somebody's in such investigative mode about that. That somebody's not, that somebody's missing messages that God is trying to tell you to run, get the heck away from something. Right. Somebody could be trying to enter into a department and you go to the department. It's just a bunch of chaos and confusion. Your spirit feels it. It's like, oh, my God, you know, my spirit feels like something is really off. This is this is not on my frequency. But because they offer a certain amount of money, somebody feels like they can ride in on their horse and save the day. And so it's just like, mm -mm. we don't have demand over other people. You can try to inspire people until you are burned out. And that's what I'm seeing. Like somebody could see you be carrying the weight of somebody and then it'll cause you to look like a low vibrating Leo. We need your light shining bright. So I see you moving on eventually from something and not looking back. I see you moving on just to a better life and not looking back. Source is saying protect your water, protect your water, protect your emotions, protect your joy. Here we have the ace of swords. So somebody's definitely gonna have a breakthrough. Somebody's paying attention. Somebody is paying attention. Time is relative. So how much time you put in something and you saying you wasted something, God can give you all of that back where you feel like, wow, okay, I had to learn that lesson. I don't know why I settled for anything less than what I deserved. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So even in some of your friendships, I see somebody, like I said, eventually moving on from that because it's like, okay, it, this thing has run its course. I don't have to tell everybody I've been friends with this person for 15, 20 years if I'm burned out. I keep trying to inspire people and I keep getting burned just for the sake of saying I've known this person for 15 years and now I know all of this information about them. That's a waste of energy. It's like somebody hoarding information on paper in your own house, but you don't even have room to put your new furniture in there because you got a stack of papers on somebody about about nothing really in the big scheme of things as all of that is energy so source wants you to get rid of that 444 i am protected that's what the tower card is trust your journey trust the way that your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment yeah so source is taking somebody through their lessons right now somebody is taking you through your journey right now somebody's taking you through your journey right now signs that's what i've been talking about the entire time signs instincts are the message from the inner divine like i said you don't need to look outside of yourself god has been um, intentionally positioned people around you to show you stuff then not come right out and directly and tell you because again that would have been going them going against god that would be them getting bad karma on them for just coming out and tell you run leo run get the heck out of there because source wants you to tune into your inner the inner divine go within so you can feel like i'm proud of myself that i was to make this i felt like i made this decision on my own i don't feel like somebody you know somebody else influence I did this on my own from the great I am with the strength of the great I am. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So, all right. All right. If somebody were to tell you that that person is just like their mother or they're just like their father, but they're not saying it in a favorable way, somebody may not listen to that. Somebody may not hear because all they see is hearts in their eyes. Or somebody could have left that department. Somebody put in a grievance against that department and they say, oh, 
um, they mistreat their employees. All, it looks all fun and games at first until X, Y, and Z happens. And then as people still go forward because they feel like, well, I know I can make a difference. I can make a change. And that's wonderful that you have that hope. Um, and you are making a change. You may be with making one step closer towards you know, handing off that baton to somebody else. But what do you have to go through to get to that burning bowl? Ask God today. Just sit down with any negative thoughts you have. Write it down, negative thoughts, and connect it to a person, place, or thing. Toss it into a burning bowl and ask God for some clarity. Go in. Sit outside under the sunlight if you have to, since that's your rule by the sun. Go out there and source. Show me what I'm not seeing. What am I not seeing? Because I may have been looking at this thing all wrong. So, do you really want to be a part of, uh, of any kind of just unnecessary chaos and confusion? Whether it's a family that you're trying to enter into, whether it's an organization you're trying to enter into, whether it's a... Uh, whatever you're trying to enter into, do you really want to be a part of that mess? At first, it's all fun and games. It's like, oh my God, you know, I, ooh, they, that's the kind of stuff that they got going on here. Until you're so drained and you're so worn out, your fire is put out and that energy slowly but surely creeps up on you and you become just like that. You're a high vibrating Leo. Get away from all of that stuff. Get away from that mess. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Let's get um, another card. Let's get one of these cards here and let's uh, close it out. If you, are, if you prioritize yourself, you are going to save yourself. If you prioritize yourself, you're going to save yourself. That was a quote from Gabrielle Union. Um... Stand with your arms at your sides, taking a deep inhale. Bring your arms up over your head and palms together. On the exhale, bring your arms down and bend at the wrist, reaching your toes. On the next inhale, return to the standing, return to standing, bringing your arms back up over your head. Repeat three times. But yeah, if you prioritize yourself, you are going to save yourself. I'm telling you. That's, that's a perfect quote for this reading. If you prioritize yourself, sit down, Leos, please, and look at it. Let me put myself first, my inner child first, not my spouse, not my mom, dad, not this person over here. Let me prioritize myself. Let me sit with self, get all the negative thoughts about something because somebody's trying to tell me something. Like what, like somebody may not want to get close to you because they're like, you know what, they see your light. They see in you, Leo does not belong in this space. It would be a disaster for them. So pay attention to all of those signs. Pay attention to all of those signs. Let's close it out. Some of the questions that you can ask yourselves, Leos, is one, what is your heart yearning to learn and do? Second question is, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? Third question is, what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth question is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or, or learning a new skill? And then last but not least, are you on your path? Are you on your path? Make it about you. Affirmations for confidence. I matter. I am kind. I act in spite of fear. I keep the promises I make to myself. My voice matters. Someone needs to hear it. My tribe wants to see me succeed. I allow doubt to float away with ease. So that's what I see for you. Like I said, this is your opportunity for growth, growing whatever it is that you want to grow. If you want to grow your money, like I said, we got the king of pentacles here, um, but something has to be sacrificed. Something has to be sacrificed. Please be in this, in this full moon phase where you're supposed to be getting your rest, protecting your energy, healing. Don't let a whole bunch of activity going on around you get you all fired up with your missing messages. Sit down and be in receiving mode because there's a lot of messages that are coming through that God is trying to help you get to your throne quicker. But this right here, deal with your shadow self and find out who is connected to you for what they can get from you. Pay attention. That's what I have for you and get ready for harvest time. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Be safe. 
Um, in some parts of the world, people, some people are uh, celebrating Independence Day. Wherever you are in the world, sources saying protect your energy. Those movies about those werewolves coming out during the full moon is for real. <laughs> like some people do not know how to protect their energy during the full moon. So protect yourself. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.